Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Judge Dredd on Super Nintendo. Now, I want to say that this is based off the Sylvester Stallone Judge Dredd film. I don't base that on anything. I just feel like it's probably correct. It looks the same. However, this also looks like the comic book. So, in the third millennium, the world changed. Climate, nations, all were in upheaval. Humanity itself turned as violent as the planet. Civilization threatened to collapse. And then, a solution was found. The crumbling legal system was, was merged with the overburdened police, creating a powerful and efficient hybrid. These new guardians of society had the power to dispense both justice and punishment. They were judge, Judy and Executioner, all in one. They were the judges. Did this camera just get turned around somehow? Is that better? Alright, I ain't got any passwords. Let's, let's jump in. If it follows the plot of the film, I'll know it's that, but whether or not it is, I don't know. Right, Justice Central, VidCom Link, version 2. Judge Dredd would actually make a pretty good video game series, I feel. Uh... Well, it's just it's such well, would it? Heavenly Haven. That was that was the starting location of the film, so it's possible. Judge Dredd. There's a block war in progress at Heavenly Haven. The tower Judge Hershey was requested. Uh, Judge Hershey has requested assistance. Was, was was that Sandra Bullock in the film? Therefore, your primary objective will be to locate and destroy all ammunition supplies found in the area to prevent further wars. Your secondary objective is to stop the block war. <laughs> Arrest or sentence all perps involved. Sentence, i.e. kill. <laughs> That's all good. That That is all. Good luck. That, the good luck bit doesn't sound very, like, you know, dystopian He does it? Okay, so we can jump. Got a gun with unlimited bullets, that's good. Can aim down, always useful. Um, actually, it's not aiming down, it's something else. Oh, and I can kick, okay. I can move and shoot, good. Wow, guilty. Eat at Otto, eat at Otto's. Um, Alright, is that, can I, ah, there we are. Guilty. I sentence you to kicked in the head. I'm going to work on the assumption. Hang on, I took some damage somewhere. When did that happen? I'm going to assume when I get them to guilty that I can do more than just kick them in the head. Oh! Alright, I just cha that changes weapon. That's what that noise is. So I've got what I assume is like a grenade cannon. Uh, okay, so where am I going? Ah, I didn't see this the first time around. Oh shit, got hit by a fire vent. Oh, you can climb the ceiling. Now, for some reason, this, this game reminds me of the Demolition Man Super Nintendo game I played ages ago. I think it's purely because they're both based on Sylvester Stallone films, sort of. Enemy is very strong. But I think Judge Dredd wears bulletproof armor. I think that's a fit. Can I... Can I interact with this? It feels like I should be able to. There we go. Alright, Intel report. What have we got for me? Terminal menu. Hacking mini game. A mission status. B, ammo status. Dread status. Oh, mission status. Oh, that meant A, B, Y is in the buttons on the controller. That makes sense. Uh, well, I know my mission. I've done none of it. I've, there's 12 perps. Okay, so it's not like infinite amount of enemies. There's only 12. Uh, ammo status. Let's see. General shells. Literally infinite. Ricochet. I've got grenades. Ricochet. High explosive incendiary. Armor. You assume armor piercing. Heat seeker. Double whammy. Did that say boing? And something else at the end there. And what's my, my status? Oh, it's just score and health. Okay, it's taken five. What's infuriating is the fact that I've 
Uh, I've taken five hits, but I'm at 49% health, meaning that hits do like, what, 10.1% damage maybe? Or I, or I took damage from somewhere else. Um, how do I get out of this screen? X? Up? Down? No. Start was the answer. What a weird thing to have what is essentially the game's menu there. So I've got grenades, right. Um, if I hold this button, no. If I hold, if I hold this... If I hold that button, I aim down. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this X button is. It's like a stop moving button, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to try a grenade on this enemy. Alright. Got to drop down when he's not looking. He saw, he saw through my ruse immediately. Okay, I got him. I fired two grenades by accident, and I took a few hits, because I kept forgetting the buttons. Freeze. Guilty. I sentence you to... Oh, that's it. That makes them get down, and that arrests them. And I feel like I should have got something. I thought a cutscene was about to start when I walked up to this, and the music changed. It's a door I just can't get through. Lies. And kick for it using my super strength. Oh, I bet that's where I took the damage from earlier. It was from when I uh, get down. It's from when I walked into that fire vent. Right, is this? I feel like this truck here should be something. Like get on it, no? Oh shit! Well. Yeah, fuck you. I sentence you to kicked in the head. Never mind. Oh shit. Wow, one kick and he's down. It's really hard to fight in this game. Oh, I've got different weapons now. I've got what I assume to be a, a boing, which I'm guessing is a bullet that kind of bounces along the ground. Uh, how do I go in? Uh, I, you see, before to access the terminal, I press the up button, but here that just makes me look up. Maybe I can only go in there once I've finished this area, which I therefore haven't. Christ, that one's on fire! He must be on PCP or something, because that... He turned into a ghost. Can I go in there? Nope. I can't te tell if this game is, like, trying to be good or, or, it, or is good. It's... It's, it's, it's almost there. It's, I, I kind of like the fact that there's, there's a lot of control shit you can do. Separates the 8-bit from the 16-bit, you know? Uh, oh, shit. It's, it's very hard to fight enemies. They are quite a bit more maneuverable than you are. Particularly because every enemy you fight, like you have to arrive on screen via like a rope, and it's it's very difficult to actually climb said ropes. Are oh, these ammo supplies? Should I be blowing these up? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna blow up. Maybe it's just a box. It's possible. I don't think there's full damage. Um. I'm I'm just about at the point where I'm like not lost but a bit lost. Also, I don't know how I got here. Like, I like, like how did I fall down into this area? Because I can't see any way out. No. Okay, I'm I'm I bet there's some element of the background that you can interact with that I haven't like realised yet. I want to I want to break this vent. These little cars must be something. Or maybe these are, these bollards? No, the, the answer must be that room that I was told to go in. Or do I... 
Wait, hang on. Did I just punch? I just learned how to punch. And headbutt. That would have changed the the like the rating of this game in England. With there was a time where, for whatever reason, we were sketchy on violence being allowed in things, and headbutts in particular were deemed like ultra violence. No. Uh. No. Nope. Nope. I thought I just learned how to run, but yeah, you, or, yeah, you double to tap to run, but it's pointless. Um, does it get no? Right? How do I how do I get in this door? It's marked in. The inn isn't like you know in the it's in the foreground. It's in front of me, meaning I must be able to go in there somehow. Just walk in? No? Maybe you do press up, but it's like, you got to be pixel perfect. No, that's not it. Crawl in. Loving this crawl animation. Oddly pointless. I feel like this button, th this is the X button that makes you do this. There must be like... It feels like it should be a context button, but it does nothing. Right, let's... Let's keep going forward. See this? Can I just wait? Can I just get up here? Nope, it's nothing. Can I try and go in here? No. Nope. Where did this lead? Was this how I got here? I'm pretty sure it was. Yep. So I couldn't figure that out. Feels like there should be like some way to interact with basically every element of this. Um. This is like frustrating. I, I feel like I'm being stupid. Wait, can I get through this? No. In fact, when you go up against the wall, you actually lose the ability to kick entirely. Um, ah, can I? Ah, there we are. There we go. See this? That type of wall ceiling you can climb. Not, not every type. So I think this is the. This is back where I started from. Uh, in fact, yeah, it definitely is. Right. Sit, climb on there using immense strength. Here we are. Secret area. Not been here yet. <gasps> is that ammo? Possibly. Am I getting money? Is Judge Dredd unironically corrupt in this game? Like, part, a big factor of his whole being is that he isn't. Is this just the same menu as before? It is. Um... Yeah, don't need to. Don't need to worry about that. There's nothing useful in there. Secondary objective complete. I think that means I've got all the perps. One good thing is there's no noticeable time limit, so I've got all day to find these. Hang on. Those must be the ammo crates because this level is not that big. If I've got all the perps, let me just check. What have I actually got to do with the ammo crates? Uh, a mission status. Uh, primary mission: destroy all ammo supplies. Zero of eighteen. Okay. Right. So I've got to destroy the ammo supplies. I'm. Are these must be them. Do I just kick them? Do I nut them? No. Nope. Maybe I have to use a grenade, but I've only got like two. Well, that did the trick, but but now I've got none. Maybe just shooting them's enough? But these ones I can't even shoot. I can if I aim down. I bet it just takes loads of bullets to do it, doesn't it? But even this feels like too many, and it feels like nothing's happening. So do I need... Do I need special ammo to do it? Can I restock here? Maybe. Try B, ammo status. General set, yeah, okay. Grenade and high explosive. Flares as well, that can be useful. Um, Alright, let's try... Does this help? No, this doesn't help. 
I arrested five and sentenced seven. I'm guessing sentence means kill here. Um, so I know what I have to do, but not how I do it. Can I? There must be something I'm 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 missing. I think that's ammo down there. Can I, can I charge? Maybe. No. Do something. Break the barrel. So when you, if you press down, you crouch. You don't have to hold down. I'm not holding down. When you press B, I can't. Tell, am I imagining it? Right. This is me just getting up normally. That that's what it looks like. And this is me pressing the B button. There's like an extra frame of animation in there, as though he's trying to up uppercut, but he can't. It's not relevant. This. How the hell do you destroy the barrels? There must be like a different attack you can do. Oh. Well, I got some more ammo, but. Well, it took two grenades to destroy all of them. So at this rate, I. Maybe I'm missing something on how to get ammo. Can I break shit, maybe? Christ, what a difficult game this has become. I love it when, when film tie-in games are like incredibly difficult like this. There's something very humorous to me, to me in it. In that you ex you expect these to be popular with uh, like fans of the film. Not not necessarily people who are really good at games, but nine times out of ten, film tie-in games are like the hardest ones around. Um. So I need more ammo. How? Okay, I was hoping I could grab the ceiling, but that's not an option. Maybe I can climb the wall. Nope. Wait, what? Oh shit, I just wasted loads of ammo. When did I get that? I Do I regenerate? Did I find it? Oh, I found I shot a bin open there. Seems like there's a way to get ammo, but I don't understand how it works. Is What if I walk around shooting? That can't hurt. There's, there's very little consequence in this world for a dread, is there? For a judge, even. Dread's just his name. <sighs> I did something then that got me ammo, but I don't know what. Can, feels like you should be able to break these in the style of, uh, what's it called? Castlevania. There must be a way of getting ammo. Like, there must be a built-in. Si Does it just drop out of these like wall pods every now and again? Because that was that was just there. Um, right, let's let's go blow up some more, I guess. And what if I go back there? Is it is it respawned? No, I don't know. So where was that? There was some down here to the right. Oh, I didn't get hit by that. But I make no no effort at all to avoid. Right. Good. If you're lucky, you can take out two of them with one shot. It doesn't seem to be any kind of logic to it. There's no blast radius. It's just, yeah, it's just luck. Maybe the impact sometimes breaks the ammo. I'm not really sure. Uh, need to hit the ceiling there, don't I? Again, that's quite inaccurate. I've got it in my head that you hold up to do it. I don't know if that's true. No, you don't. You can just grab. Right, I took all took out all of them in there. Right. Now. I mean, I, I hit them pretty bob on in the middle and I, I still couldn't destroy them all. So I'm out of ammo again, so I now need to just hope more will... Oh, there's some. It just seems to spawn in, in places. I don't really know what the, what the theory is. Oh, a bin. And now know you can break. <laughs> and I found a new kind of weapon. Do I know what it is? Fucked if I know. Can I guess from context? 
Not even slightly. Oh, wait, can I break this? What if I shoot it with my new gun? Okay, so I'm guessing those are boing rounds, or possibly ricochet. I don't really remember seeing any more barrels now at this point. Let's, oh, there's more. All right. Let's try these, shall we? Um, nope. Didn't do the trick. So you have to use this specific type of ammo, which I've gained more of, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm picking it up without really realizing. Trouble is, I know for a fact there's a there's a place over here I, I haven't managed to get into. I must have to drop down on it because I can't climb up. That's for damn sure. So let's let's investigate that. There's probably a drop down I haven't noticed. Uh, I've been over there before. Can't climb up there. Climb up on the fucker thing. Uh, all right. Oh, is, is that, there's some up here as well. How do I get to them? Just walk over and drop down. Nope. Can I get through there, maybe? Nope. Climb around this way and drop down again. I don't I don't think I can drop down through this. You need a grate of some sort. Um right, so can I drop down there? Not really. How do I get down? It feels like there's like a third entity of interactive environment that I'm yet to fully discover. Because I definitely need to either jump higher or fall through the floor. Wait, is that... That's... It's not scenery, it's... It, I mean, it is scenery. I thought it was like actual geometry. Ah, oh, thank Christ. I've completed the primary objective. I bet that means I can now go through that, that door that was open. I also suspect it means that I won't be able to find it again for the life of me. It's kind of down and left was the method to get there, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, down here. Oh, God. Run, run, Dread. Ah. Oh, what a time. Was it this way? No, it was that way. Look at him run. It's, am it's amazing how he, his legs do the entirety of the work. His upper body remains completely stationary. Yes. All right. Part two. Accuracy bonus. 44%. Arrest bonus. Primary bonus. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Oh, that would be the primary objective, won't it? That, makes, that actually makes sense sort of. Okay, so we went in the building and we're clearly still outside and there's an exit. But what am I doing? I, I didn't get a new briefing. Yeah, immediately found secret area. Alright, now I've got the goods. I'll be able to kill this guy from down here. Ha! My ricochet bullet did him in. Call a little drone to pick him up. Alright. Be ready. You're under arrest, sir. Citizen. No. To do Slice Loan, you need to have a deep voice, but also kind of a slurred lisp. So that's... Adrian! No. Can't. Can't do it. I haven't, I haven't... I haven't heard him enough recently. What am I doing here? What is my job? Is it? Is it exactly the same as before? Because I suspect it will be. Uh, let's see. Primary mission. Destroy all ammo. Yep. And sentence all pups. Now I'll allow it because this is kind of like level one part two, isn't it? Is what we're dealing with here. Huh. How do I get up there? Can't. Just how many shots do they take? They seem to have as much or more health than I do. It's highly unfair. Okay, got to, got to take out all these ammo crates. It's going to be difficult. I didn't intend to shoot two rockets there. It's just it's very difficult not to. These ricochet bullets. I don't know why I said it like that. 
They uh, they do a lot of damage. One shot is enough to uh, to render a target into into giving up. I, I can only assume they cause brutal internal injuries. Oh, I got vaporized. Did that activate because I walked into it? Felt very timed. It's incredibly difficult to shoot, I will point out. It's It's got that thing where if you're stood still, it's somehow harder as well. Oh. Did a bit of shit just fall out of this thing and hit me? It did. It's a garbage shoot. It's kind of funny, actually. Can I just... No. I didn't even bother to put a wall over here. It's just... It's just... No, don't go that way. All right, can I... Huh, interesting. I can kick this wall. Normally, when you get up against the wall, you can't kick it. Is that interesting? Not really. Let's climb along the ceiling. I don't think he was guilty of anything. He, I, I just came up to him. He saw me and he legged it. I think, I think I'm the bad guy. Right. Well, so I can't destroy that until I find more ammo. I guess. Is there some up here? Yep. It just seems to appear. It's by far and away the weirdest aspect. They could give you infinite. They could use regular bullets to do it. I don't know why they don't. Right. Should we get to the exit? That'll be a good uh, good place to end the video, won't it? If I get to that exit, which I don't know how to get to, and then... Feels like there could easily be a boss fight, you know? It's that sort of, like two levels boss fight kind of dynamic feels accurate it's way up there I've got to get and I've no idea how I know this is already incorrect the way I'm currently looking wait just gotta check sometimes it's you know the scenery is is interactive sometimes it's not you never quite know how tangible something will be Believe and don't trust and lie everything is or is not. I got to that area before, didn't I? I can't remember how. Did I climb the ceiling? So I've got, I've got to get to there. I have no idea how. Because I feel like I've kind of been everywhere. Well, there's this, there's this down here. This can... Un oh, it's just opened up. Oh, I bet there's a boss fight. What the hell is... Oh, Christ. Alright, he's quite strong. <gasps> oh, a death screen. You have been judged guilty. The sentence is game over, judge. That doesn't make any sense, like, at all. The Hall of Heroes. This is a rare sight indeed. This is clearly the high scores. But unless I'm very much mistaken, they're empty. Like there's normally there's like some made up names or just some words or developers in there. And I'm guessing if I just put blank spaces, this is how you this is how you finish typing. Is that three, six eight letter name input? No no ten to, possibly thirteen. You just press start, don't you? Oh, and then I think it showed the high scores at like the, at this screen somewhere, didn't it? Let's, let's wait and see, because this is exciting now. Alright, let's, let's skip ahead and then see. No, it doesn't. Well, it probably shows it when you die, doesn't it? That's what it will be. Oh. Uh, Alright, version 2. 2.04G enter password. No, I'm not gonna bother. So that was that was Judge Dredd on SNES. Hmm. Some nice ideas, I suppose. A lot of different ammo types. Way too boring though. Uh thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.